In this video, we will be demonstrating Newton's second and third laws of motion, as well as the law of conservation of momentum. Newton's second law is represented by the equation F equals ma. F stands for the net force of an object, M stands for the mass of an object, and A stands for the acceleration of an object. This law states that as the mass of an object increases, its acceleration decreases. In this video, we draw four bounce balls onto a table to act to represent Newton's second law of motion. As you can see, the largest ball bounces at the shortest distance, while the smallest ball bounces at the greatest distance. This is because the small ball has less mass, which supports Newton's second law, which states that an object with less mass has more acceleration. The bouncy balls also demonstrate Newton's third law, which states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The bouncy balls exert a force on the table. The table exerts a force on the bouncy balls. This causes the reaction of making the bouncy balls bounce back. The amount of momentum within a system will remain constant unless an outside force acts upon the system. This is the law of conservation of momentum. We lined up the four balls, largest to smallest, and we rolled the largest ball into the other three, which caused them to separate. The amount of force the large ball exerted on the line remains the same within the system. You can tell this because all the balls moved. The largest ball travels slower than the smallest ball, even though the same amount of force was exerted on both. This is because the smallest ball has less mass and more acceleration, and the largest ball has more mass and less acceleration. 